We, we checked all the boxes. We did all the correct steps, and now we're, we're finding ourselves you know, in, in a difficult position. When Dustin Paisley and his co-founder of Calgary-based Local Laundry began selling clothes with Canadian designs, they wanted to create something unique but not tacky that people could wear with pride, creating this design. They then trademarked it to protect their intellectual property. We did everything right by all standards. We spoke to our lawyer, we filed a trademark registration, uh, we went through all the legal process, went through the system, paid the thousands of dollars. Local Laundry has been selling the design that they made since 2016, but it was just recently that they found out that a very similar design was being sold by a big box store. This was actually a customer that reached out to us and said, hey, look, there's a design that's similar to yours. And so uh, obviously we went to investigate, we looked and, and sure enough, you know, we found a design that was very confusingly similar that was sold in Walmart. Instead of the maple leaf featured on local laundry's design, the clothing sold at Walmart stores features a moose. They felt the design was similar and filed an infringement claim with Walmart Canada. We filled out three of those, a uh, number of phone calls, and finally they got back to us. And um, there's been a bit of communication back and forth, but uh, their stance was they're going to continue selling the product. Paisley said they are exploring options to protect their design, but feel there is a gap, which allows for other businesses to produce similar designs without any repercussions. This is something that, that the government in Canada, the trademark office, has actually said you own the registered trademark to this design. Uh, and so I think that's what's most disappointing about all of this is we feel we feel failed by the system. City News reached out to Walmart Canada for comment but did not receive a response in time for broadcast. In Calgary, Jillian Code, City News.